Hi everyone, my name's Amy. Exactly four years ago today, I released my first video on YouTube for this Honda Element Micro Camper. In those four years, I've used it to go on lots of adventures, mostly car camping, one to two week long road trips, or getting out to backpacking trips. Um, I've also used it to take lots of naps in the driveway, as an outdoor office, and even to quarantine with COVID. Um, in today's video, I'm going to go through all of the additions and changes I've made in those last four years. Let's get to it. The first change is this pad, which attaches to the center armrest with a Velcro strap that goes underneath. Um, this is, of course, for the dog. This is where she's insisted on sitting since we got her, and so this is an attempt to make it as comfortable as possible for her. Um, usually we put a towel over this as well because she also drools a lot. Um, and relatedly, uh, here I have a uh, two webbing straps, one um, to each, which attaches to each headrest with a carabiner in the middle. And so this we clip to her harness when we're driving and that acts as a makeshift seatbelt. Mackie, up, up. Good girl, Mackie. Here. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, the second change is adding Velcro to the bottom of this mattress to stick it directly to the frame. Uh, previously, I relied on having the driver's seat pushed back to apply pressure on this mattress and keep it in place, and that really limited the amount of leg room that I had on this side. Um, and so now, with this uh, with this mattress kept in place just with the Velcro, the driver's seat can go as far forward as possible. And that leads us to change number three, which is the sleeping arrangement for the whole family. Um, now my partner who he's much taller than me, um, he can now sleep on this side, um, which means I sleep on the passenger side. And because I'm shorter, the passenger seat doesn't have to go as far forward, uh, which means that there's plenty of room for the dog who used to be crowded with the steering wheel. And so it's awesome. Everyone has way more space and is more comfortable. The fourth change here is also related to sleep comfort. So previously, it was really common for us when we we're maybe rolling over in our sleep to move one of the edges of the curtain and that would let in a bunch of light. Um, so one solution is on some of the edges, I've simply used safety pins to uh, stitch the curtain edges together. Um, but I really wanted to preserve just how easy it was to pull the curtains open and closed. Um, so rather than going to window panels, I decided to add these snaps. So now the motion is pretty much the same as before, but then I can snap the edges of the curtain in place. Um, here the snaps are attached where one side is uh, crimped to the fabric curtain and the other side is screwed directly into the plastic trim. Um, of course, I've also had to replace these elastic uh, curtain rods, but that was really easy and totally expected. The fifth change is a drawer on the shelf unit. Uh, I actually originally got this idea from someone who had used my free plans to build their own shelf unit and then they sent me a photo and theirs had a drawer. Uh, by the way, everyone who has sent me photos of their own builds, um, thank you so much. It's really delightful to see and it really makes my day. Uh, but anyway, I, I like the idea so much that I decided to add a drawer to my shelf as well. Uh, and it's been awesome. It's a great place for storing books and other small things and it helps to keep the tabletop uh, more free of clutter during trips. Uh, in the corner here, I have a small laser cut piece of plastic and two screws uh, and so that just rotates and keeps the drawer locked in place um, when driving. Uh, it's a little bit ugly but it works really well so it will probably be here forever. Change number six is again on the shelf. Um, I added some small pockets here to hold some USB power bricks and charging cables and that also helps us declutter the tabletop. 
these power bricks are easily charged by this USB cable here, which runs up to a tiny solar panel that is suction cupped to the inside of the moon roof. Now, I realize how incredibly dinky this setup looks compared to the big power banks and solar panel arrays that uh, you sometimes see on other campers, but um, so far, honestly, this has been enough for what we tend to use. Change number seven, super easy. Um, just remade this so that I would have more pockets. My final update is that I made a new version of the moonroof frame, which you can see above me. Um, here I now have these really big cutouts and the goal there is to reduce the overall weight of the frame so that there's less stress on these four points of the gasket that are holding everything up. I also stapled in some window mesh um, to limit the bugs coming in if I do in fact have the moon roof open. Um, I made this frame by gluing together two layers of five millimeter plywood that I laser cut. My laser isn't actually big enough to cut this whole thing in one go, which is why there are these kind of funny interlock shapes. Um, and finally, I wanted to really improve the viewing angle of the iPad. Um, so I did that by adding these brackets that fold down. And now that is angling it much more towards uh, the where my head would be if I were laying on the bed. Um, when I first uh, posted my original video with this iPad holder, I got a really strong positive reaction. And ironically, in the last four years, I've probably only used this um, to watch movies, maybe four hours total. Um, but the angling here certainly makes things a lot nicer. Okay. Uh, that's all I've got. I hope you enjoyed this tour of updates. Happy camping and thanks for watching.